Hello, hello. I am so excited to be back after a few weeks of a break because things have just been so, so crazy. But I promised you guys an episode on Richardson hats and I will be delivering. All right, so bear with me. We are about to get started, but before we do so, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, any love that you show us, any questions that you have. Basically, anything that you do to interact with our channel is really going to help us grow and keep this channel growing so that we can continue uh, delivering quality content to you. So for those of you who don't know what Richardson hats are, they're just a style of hats that are commonly requested by customers and they uh, look like this. Um, they're really, really nice hats. However, a lot of people say that they have problems embroidering them. So they want to know what are the proper techniques to take. So I'm going to try it out for myself so I can see what the fuss is about. And then I'm going to tell you what I used. The common theme, exactly what you want to be doing with cap embroidery and any embroidery is to make the embroidery as flat as possible. If you can get it flat, you can embroider that. Remember that. <laughs> and I gotta say, I saw that from my girl Eve at the Baby's Booty. I love her. Uh, if you wanna go check her out, I'm just gonna give her a little shout out because she's the bomb. So like I said, I'm gonna do one, just a regular run, see what happens with just using the right materials for hats, proper hooping technique. I'm gonna give you some tips on that. So without further ado, it's time to jump right in. I'm really excited to give these Richardson hats a go. I'm a little bit scared. However, I do remember when I first embroidered a hat, Everybody was saying that hat embroidery was so hard. Oh my God. And I embroidered a hat and it wasn't hard. So <laughs> I think you need to stop overthinking it and kind of just go in, employ all these tips that we're giving you guys and you should be fine. But let's see what happens. First things first, cap embroidery. Love it. It's super simple because you just need a few materials. All you need is a tear weight stabilizer and the correct needles. So right here I have 8012 needles and no, these are actually the 9014 ones. Right here, I have 9014 needles and 8012 needles. I'm actually going to be using the 9014 ones. I'm just gonna go straight to them. Um, just because the 8012 needles, I'm not sure if it's going to be um, tough enough to penetrate through this such thick fabric. So I'm just gonna start straight off with the 9014 needles. Then I just have a very, very thin, this is like a 1.5 ounce uh, sheet of tearaway. I'm not going to be using anything thicker than this because this is already so thick that we don't really need backing. However, just in case of any registration issues, you want to just make sure that you are backed up. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a piece of backing that will fit the design. The design's actually uh, covering most of the profile of the hat. So I'm going to cut it a little bit larger than our normal pre-cut hat backing. And of course, I just reached into a little box with a bunch of binder clips because we are going to be using these to hoop. So I'm going to set these aside. Um, now that I have my needle, I have my backing. I'm just going to go ahead and hoop the hat. Um, I actually already have my hat um, needles on programmed on the machine. Pro tip, if you have a multi-needle and you want to be efficient, make sure to have several needles uh, programmed for different types of embroidery. So you can have three or four needles programmed for cap embroidery, uh, three or four for small lettering, three or four regular, and so on and so forth. Just a quick overview, this right here is your cap hooping station, and this right here is my cap ring. So I'm just going to attach the cap ring to the cap hooping station by lining up the opening with uh, the little tab, making sure that all three of these little tabs are clicking in. Next up, I have my backing right here. Again, this is just uh, a lightweight sheet of tearaway backing. It's all I'm going to need. And then I'm just going to be opening up my cap bringing the sweatband up and making sure that there are no, um, that these little, that this little strap is no longer closed. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the sweatband of the hat underneath this tab right here in the center. And I like to just hold down on the hat. One of the main reasons why people get needle breaks is because they're not hooping tight enough. I like to hold down the top of the hat while I bring the sweatband underneath these two tabs right here. One of them where the closure is and then the other one where the closure begins. And then I just bring these two straps together. I hold them down as much as possible and I bring the strap over, making sure that this little, the little teeth here are really close to the bill of the hat. And then I'm just going to, with my palm, bring it up. It should be pretty difficult to bring up 
it shouldn't be loose if it's loose that means the cap is too loose and you will most likely get needle breaks so now that i have that done i'm just going to hold down on these three little latches and it'll go ahead and release itself so now i have my binder clips and i'm just going to grab the smush side of the hat and clip it making sure that the straps stay outside this is just to kind of make sure that nothing is caught in the middle and to kind of help flatten it out a little bit more. And don't, when you're doing this, don't squeeze it too much, just enough to be able to create a little bit more tension. Now I'm just verifying that I still have my backing here being held so that my design is backed up by something. So now that I have my hat nice and properly hooped, I did eyeball it pretty perfectly. Yay me. But anyway, there, <laughs> I always line up the the little seam of the hat with the notch inside of the tab. And that's just going to help center it. However, when you're using a single head, it's not too much to worry about because you can center it on uh, the screen. However, if you're using a multi-head, you do wanna make sure that it is really nicely centered because um, then that way you're gonna make sure that you have the proper placement on all heads, not just on one. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and Insert it into the machine. Just making sure that these little tabs line up and click together. And, and I always make sure to trace before to make sure that we, that there's no obstruction when we're going to be um, embroidering on these hats. So I think it's time to press start. Let's see what happens. <laughs> So all in all, I'm really happy with how the logo came out. Uh, Richardson hats were not scary at all. Um, so I hope that this helps some of you guys who have been hesitant about trying these hats out to try them out by yourself. So remember, just use the right materials. Hooping technique is one of the most important parts about cap embroidery. I have said it before trying out Richardson 112s and I'm going to say it after. Hooping is everything. If you're able to get that technique down, you will not have any issues with caps. Something else that is huge is the digitized design. If you don't have the proper digitized file for cap embroidery, you will run into issues. So make sure that your digitized design when you are working with caps starts in the center and works its way out and starts from the bottom going up. That's one of the huge things that you need to look out for for cap embroidery digitizing so anyway i wish you guys luck and i hope that um, this has inspired some of you to try something new in your business as always i encourage you guys to join our facebook group embroidery and custom apparel mastery in there you can chat with me thousands of other embroiderers share your embroidery knowledge uh, drop suggestions for future videos really anything uh, that you want to share with us about embroidery or custom apparel I will also be linking a cap embroidery guide that I created that has helped thousands of embroiderers master cap embroidery and it has helped myself as well during my research process. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Go ahead and download it below if you want to finally become the cap bro, pro, cap pro that you've always dreamed of being. Alrighty, and don't forget like comment subscribe all that good stuff all of that helps us keep going and growing for you guys so thank you again and we'll see you in the next episode